let's take a look at the import export options in new window 10. if we go under file imports you have import audio files track archives um, some good one is tracks from project i can just simply pick the project and i have tracks on and select the tracks that i want to import including markers it will indicate the sample rate which was mashing the frame rate project start other additions to the import sections AAF imports as well as OMF CSV file for example for an ADR session it could be uh, dialogues in different languages for example ADM which is associated with Dolby Atmos so it's a broadcast file ADM files you can just import an ADM file and you Dolby Atmos all the data the metadata of this file will automatically be imported within your window on the export side you have the audio mix down which allows you to in one go export different uh, stems uh, as well as master 5.1 masters to one master maybe third audio on sending master and you can have uh, separate uh, groups exported different groups audio files so a single and multiples and just simply select tracks you wanted to exports or process again this is a one-step process which means that everything will be offline and you'll have separate names uh, for each files to export it you can also export markers as well as cycle markers and then you can refine your export here you can also normalize to integrate loudness this is really handy if you know the project you're working on might not be perfect you need to deliver um, a copy right away for somebody to review so you can just engage normalize to integrate loudness and your project will be set to the re selected reference so kind of a qu quick fast and dirty way to to export a project and deliver uh, right away uh, other options are uh, creating an audio track so insert in a pool or create a new project for stems for example if you're exporting stems and you just want them to be in a separate project you can just check this box here and it will allow you to export all your stems and open a new session with just the stems some of the functions on the export sides are the video so now you can export a section of the video in this case uh, it will be whatever it's in the locator so you set the locator to the section of the video and audio that you wanted to export and you can add time code uh, at this time you only have one format available to export and then you can just export the video